Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is Tuesday morning, about 8.41, and I am on the road on my way up to the D.C. area. It was sunny. It's now starting to get to be a little bit overcast, and apparently I'm going to be driving into real shit. So I've got that to look forward to. Got the bean at three ships, and I'm good to go. Told you about how I was attacked by a wasp, and when it landed on my face and I went to smack it off, I smacked my glasses off my face rather violently and I slammed them into the pavement and it gouged both lenses and, you know, scraped up the frame, which I don't give a shit about. So I went to the place where I originally got my, uh, got these glasses, which is different from the place that I usually go. And they told me that I didn't buy the insurance, so I was SOL. I didn't like that. So I went back to the place that I usually go and the woman was like, should be able to take care of this, but I can't do it until Monday. I'll call you Monday. She calls me yesterday morning and she says, okay, so here's the deal. I called the other place and I spoke to the girl who is new and her manager is on vacation. She can't really make any kind of decision like that, but she said that she was confident that, that when the manager came back, she would call me and she would make this right and she'll get them replaced for free. I was like, okay, great. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. Then a couple hours later, the place where I got these called me and she said, hi, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, I spoke to the woman from the other Pearl and she said that we would talk to my manager when she got back. Well, my manager called me today from vacation to see how things were going and I let her know the situation and she said that we absolutely will take care of this and we'll send it in and we'll get them to do, uh, you know, a, a lens replacement, all that kind of stuff and had her do it then. So they already called VSP, ordered my new lenses and, and it's going to be taken care of and then when they come in I'll go in and they'll just replace the lenses right there so hot diggity man I'm all for that and I thanked her again for for her help and and I'm pretty happy with that but let this be a warning to you kids don't drive away from the drive through without checking your order because you might end up getting screwed. Fortunately for me in this case, I was able to go back to the drive-thru and get my food taken care of, even though I should have checked before I left. Thus endeth the lesson. Okay, kids, and suddenly it's nighttime. Massive change in the weather. I have a feeling that I'm driving into that shit that I spoke of earlier. So I'm gonna spin the camera as soon as I feel like it's safe. I would like to comment once again Oh yeah, I can see the wall of rain I'm coming into. I would like to comment again on how thrilled I am at how quiet it is in here with the new tires. Of course, now that's all going to be taken away by the rain slamming into the car and the wind noise on the shitty windows, but other than that, it's just been so pleasant not having to scream and being able to hear shit. And now we have the fun part of our journey. Even with the vehicles in front of me having their lights on, seemingly, it's incredibly difficult to see them. Okay, that was fun. Hopefully here in a couple of minutes, it will stop raining altogether. And that'd be a good thing, because I don't like driving in rain. Ah, that's enough. If anything else exciting happens, I'll be sure to show you. Hey kids, it is quarter after six. I'm in the hotel room, if you couldn't tell, and I actually fell asleep. And I let myself fall asleep, because I kind of had a crappy night's sleep last night. So I slept for not that long, you know, maybe a little over an hour and now I'm freaking starved. So I'm gonna go find a place to eat and get dinner, and then I'm gonna come back and play. Let's go eat. Okay, kids, kind of a lame outro here. I just, I didn't have enough power in the Rode Wireless Goes, 
because I drained the transmitter. I mean, completely drained it when I fell asleep earlier. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. The AC has been running nonstop because it is just wicked hot here in this area. And even the hotel itself just feels like wet. <laughs> it's just nasty out. So that's pretty much it. I also did an update on the computer, so that's taken a while to do. That's why you're getting this video late tonight, but you're still getting something. But okay, that's it. That's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.